Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today, I wanna share with you guys some fantastic news. Uh, YouTube has decided to re-monetize my channel. Ah, so happy about that. Thank you so much to the wonderful people who supported me this last month, right? Who shared that video, uh, you know, offered, uh, you know, multiple different types of support, viewing, subscribing, checking out my Patreon. Patreon, by the way, was totally unaffected by demonetization. So thank you so much to the people who are supporting me there and the new people who came over after they heard about what happened, right? Um, thank you guys so much. That's just amazing. Uh, today, I, I want to let you guys know that we're going to be celebrating this. Uh, I'm, I'm so excited. We're going to be celebrating this in a live stream this Friday. Um, so uh, make sure you check that out. I'll be talking about that more in the community tab and on Instagram, right? I also want to talk about exactly what happened. There were so many people who had a lot of questions, right? Initially, throughout the process, people would, were coming and checking on me. They were messaging me on Instagram and emailing me saying, hey, did you ever figure out what happened, right? Thank you so much. I mean, I'm just, I'm touched that people cared to continue. It wasn't just like the initial thing, right? There were so many people who kept asking me about it. Thank you so much. I want to talk about that, not just for my viewers, but for other content creators. I want to offer the insight that I can. Um, I'll tell you guys right now, I definitely do not have all the answers. In fact, it's still very, very foggy, right? But I can tell you factually what happened and what I think was not the issue, right? Um, because there's a lot of people who do the same type of thing that I do. Uh, and they, they probably want to know, am, am I going to get demonetized, right? I mean, the truth is, is I don't really know, but I, I want to talk about it still. Thank you so much again, generous patrons, for supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Um, got some of my favorite knives that out today. Really just some eye candy, just something to be here while I talk. Um, so you guys know initially, right, they demonetized me and they said, you're violating a policy, right? I wasn't really sure exactly what they, you know, it said something about harmful things and, you know, modification of harmful objects and this or that. So I thought, was this a blanket term for knives now? Because you guys know that I view knives as tools. I always have, right? I'm not a political channel at all. Um, you guys will never know my political opinions because I don't talk about them. I, it's about knives. I just enjoy knives. I like talking about, you know, the various uh, uses of a knife in terms of a tool. I like talking about the different aspects, right? The different price ranges. It's just something that I enjoy, right? Um, so uh, I was like, what the heck? So uh, they took away my ability to chat live with a support team, which is something that I always had access to while I was monetized. I think that's kind of, that's that's a serious problem. That they take that away from people who, you know, were once in the program because it takes away your ability to understand exactly what happened. So I started emailing the support team over and over and over again. And initially the response that I was getting um, seemed to be very automated. It seemed to not be a human at all. Um, I was being consistently redirected to the policies section. And so I didn't, uh, I, I never took like an anti YouTube stance. I never tried to create a war, um, at all. I wanted it to, I didn't want to create a firestorm, right? Not that my, not that I thought the channel was big enough for that to happen anyway, but that's, that's definitely not what I wanted to do. So I was trying to, you know, be polite and I said, hey, I, I get it. You, there's something you want me to change. There's something that I violated, but I, I don't know what that was, right? And uh, in, a, in a panic, I had deleted, um, you know, uh, all of my, Insta I'm sorry, all of my Amazon affiliate links and my eBay affiliate links because I thought maybe it wasn't about knives. Maybe it's because there are some potentially unsavory items that are sold on Amazon that do violate the policies. Maybe the, there are some items that are restricted despite the fact that my links were just going to knives. So I got rid of those. I also got rid of uh, a couple of videos that I, like my, my 50,000 subscriber live stream. I almost deleted all of my live streams thinking maybe it's because of the giveaways, right? I stopped doing that because I thought, I don't really know what's happening, right? I'm dwelling on this. I'm wasting time trying to figure this out. And I don't have any, I don't, I don't have any, you know, evidence, uh, any, any understanding at all, right? So, um, and, uh, uh, just so you guys know, um, the, uh, the, the, a lot of people were saying it's definitely the links. Um, it, it wasn't that that ended up not being the case because I still I've always had the links down there. Right. So I don't think that was the issue. There are um, channels that you that have millions of subscribers that use Amazon affiliate links. Right. And so that I, I think that was a rash decision. Um, so other content creators, I, I don't I can't tell you factually, but I, it doesn't look like that was the issue. Uh, my current affiliate links with the uh, retailers down below, that doesn't look like it was the issue either, obviously, because I'm monetized now and those have always been there. 
Um, I finally, after the eighth or ninth email with the support team, I finally got an email that looked to be a little bit more human. It looked like a person had actually typed it and that it wasn't a copied and pasted template, right? Um, YouTube uh, has millions of channels, literally millions of channels. And as far as I know, as far as I understand, YouTube only employs thousands or possibly tens of thousands of people. So it's not possible for YouTube to manually deal with every last little element of YouTube. I think it's safe to assume that there's definitely a program um, that's designed to deal with a lot of this stuff. And I think that program is probably inaccurate a lot of times. It probably makes mistakes, right? As machines do. <laughs> so... There was a lot of talk of, you know, when I made that first video, there's a lot of talk of conspiracy theories and there was a lot of talk of, you know, censorship and all that. Um, before I continue here, I want to let you guys know um, I was not shadow banned and I was not shut down. I was not canceled. In fact, YouTube didn't restrict any of my videos. They simply took away my ability to generate ad revenue. They couldn't take away Patreon. They couldn't take away the other, you know, sources of revenue that I had created. And I had created those because I thought one day I might get demonetized and I might not understand why. And I also feel like in the future, it will probably happen again. But that's why I diversified in the first place. I wanted to set up kind of some safety nets in case that happened, right? So I'm celebrating today. But yeah, I fully understand this could absolutely happen in the future. And I think it's important for other content creators to, you know, to hear that too. None of us are invincible <laughs> at all. <laughs> and we live in a world here on YouTube and in the real world where we can't control everything, right? All we can do is just make certain choices after these uncontrollable events occur, right? So anyways, I finally got this email back from the support team. And they said, listen, basically what it said was, we're, we're messengers, Right. And I, it made no sense to come down on the, them because they weren't the person or entity that pushed the red button. Right. That's that's not what happened. Um, so they were like, this is the this is the part of the policy that you specifically violated. And it led me to the firearms policy. And that was the first time I realized I th now I'm thinking this was a mistake. Right. It was frustrating, but I still wasn't wanting to jump all over somebody. Right. Um so I went in and I dissected it. I think it's important that, that people do that, especially if you're a content creator. It's important to look at that stuff. Went through and looked at it. There was nothing in there. If you guys know my channel well, you'll know that the only type of content that is ever shown on this channel is centered around knives. Periodically flashlights and some other tools, but tools, right? Tools, nothing else. So I thought maybe this is a mistake. And I So I emailed back and I said, hey, <laughs> Okay, thank you for telling me exactly what it was that you think that I did wrong, but that's not what my channel is at all, you know, and the, the response that I got back again, m much more human was, ah, I, sorry, I, this is what it says on my end, I don't know, I can't do anything for you, you can reapply in 30 days, right, so if you feel like there's something that you need to change, maybe look over your content really carefully, and I appreciated that. I doubt YouTube's watching, but guys, if you are to the support team, thank you for finally putting some human into it. I, I do appreciate that, right? That's nice that whoever that was, they really tried to be like, I have a job to do and I'm restricted to certain things. I have parameters in my job and I'm trying to be as helpful as I can, but I'm limited, right? Whoever that was, was a was an actual person. And th I appreciate that. They were polite through the whole thing. So I combed over my content again, trying to find anything and never found anything, right? Um, so I stopped thinking like, what am I supposed to remove? What am I supposed to change? And I just moved forward, right? Um, that was when I decided I'm done dwelling on this. In 30 days, I can reapply, right? And we'll see what happens. 30 days passed. Uh, I went into the little area where you can do that. And I thought that I would be given this opportunity to type up my, you know, <laughs> my explanation for my channel to be able to defend myself. No, you, there's nothing there. There's literally just a button that says reapply. You can either push it or not push it. And I was like, ah, oh, geez. All right. Well, so I pushed the button and it said, thank you. Um, typically we'll get back with you, with you, uh, within 30 days. And I thought, all right, well, maybe it'll be 30 days. Maybe it'll be six months. The first time I applied for monetization, it took five months after I pushed that button, even though it said, Hey, within 30 days, to my surprise, 48 hours passed and they had decided to re-monetize my channel without me having to change anything. 
That's what makes me think it was a mistake. Um, there, I, I don't have answers. I still don't know. Like I said, generally when there's a problem with a video, other content creators know this, the little green dollar sign that normally means it's monetized and everything's fine, it turns yellow. And that yellow dollar sign means our system thinks maybe there's something potentially inappropriate. You might want to check this one out. Right? That's happened maybe five times. This channel has never received a strike. Uh, a lot of you guys know what that is. I've never never been copyright striked. I've never had any serious right. When, it, when there's something serious going on, they give you a strike and they're like, hey, this is definitely not okay. You can't do this, right? Never received a strike. Just periodically, about five times, I've received that little yellow dollar sign thing on a video. And I go in and I look at it and then I you can always request a manual review and you can say, hey, there's nothing wrong with this video. You guys look at it, right? I don't see anything wrong. Can you check it out? And they do. They go in and they look at it and then they turn it back on. That's what's always happened. Uh, so when they demonetize me, they just shut my whole channel monetization down. They didn't shut my channel down. They didn't stop my channel from being viewable. They didn't cancel me. They didn't shadow ban me. A lot of people were convinced that I was just done. No. Um, there's a site called Social Blade. If you guys are not aware of that site, on Social Blade, you can, it doesn't have anything to do with knives. It just happens to be called Blade. You can go in, you can type in any YouTube channel, and it'll t it'll pull up their stats for the last month and since they created their content. You can see their sub counts, you can see their views, right? And it's pretty accurate. There are some things that are not accurate, but the view counts are accurate and the sub counts are pretty accurate. You'll see that over the month that I was demonetized, I actually got more views than I've ever got. Maybe that was, you know, because the knife community was so positive in their response, right? Or the people that wanted to be supportive were being extra supportive. I don't know. But I went back in my own analytics and looked to see if my content was actually reaching other viewers. You can do that. You, you're given this very complicated in-depth system that shows you exactly how people are interacting with your content. Nothing had changed. My, um, the videos were still going out to people that YouTube was still recommending them. Nothing was restricted at all. Not a single video was restricted. So I was still getting views. I was getting more views than normal. In fact, I got an additional 100,000 views on the channel. And that's not, I'm not trying to brag. I'm trying to let people know if you're worried that if you get demonetized that you're going to be shadow banned, I think it's probably case by case. But in my case, that's not what happened. They did not cancel me. They only took away my ability to generate ad revenue for one month. That's all that happened. So I don't know how beneficial this information is going to be for people, but I do, I love offering clarity. I love letting people know exactly what's going on. Um, and, you know, because I feel like it's, it's helpful. Even, even if it's only helpful for one person, I think it's still important to share my experience with you guys. It's also important, again, to point out that while this is definitely something I want to celebrate and be happy about, I absolutely expect to run into this again. <laughs> YouTube will change their policies in the future, right? Um, as you know, they it's their platform, right? Not always going to agree with everything, you know, but uh, in the future, um, much of my content, you know, while it's okay now, apparently might not be okay in the future, right? So all I can do is just wait. I can't control that, right? Uh, all I can do is control the stuff that I can control, right? I can upload content, I can talk about knives, I can share this information with you, and it makes me happy, and it apparently makes you guys happy, so I'm going to keep doing it, right? But yeah, I absolutely expect to run into this in the future, but that's why I set up those safety nets, right? That's why I'm ever thankful for Patreon and the people who support me there. Seriously, thank you guys so much, right? That's why I'm thankful for the retailers that let me work out the affiliate programs with them. Thank you guys, right? Thank you to Blade HQ, GP Knives, River's Edge Cutlery, DLT Trading, Going Gear, and uh, there's there's some new ones coming in. Thank you so much for allowing me to work with you on that. That's really great. I don't do sponsorships on this channel, um, and uh, nothing against channels who do that. I want to remain honest. I want I don't want to be influenced by anything. I want to be able to get knives in and say what I actually think, and I want you guys to be able to make your own choices as far as whether or not you want to pick that up for yourself. That's what this channel's always been from the very beginning. That's what it will continue to be. I don't want to change the way that I do things, but I do want to operate within the policies or at least my, all I can do is interpret sometimes, you know, but yeah, I want to bring you guys safe, fun, educational content that surrounds the tools that these things absolutely are. This is a 15 minute video now, and I didn't really want it, want it to be that long. Mainly the message here is this is great. This is great. I'm, I'm happy. I want you guys to be happy. 
Thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for subscribing, viewing, liking, commenting. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon, right? Knights of the Round, you guys have your helmets back. That's awesome. If you want to check out Knights of the Round, go to my main page, my YouTube channel. There's a little button that says join, and you can check that out if you want to. If not, of course, it's okay. But hey, that's awesome. We're going to be celebrating and talking about this more uh, this Friday on my live stream. So come check that out. Like I said, I'll be updating you guys in the community tab and on Instagram um, about exactly when we're going to do that. But yeah, follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Guys, that's going to be pretty much it today. Expect the flow of content to continue. If you enjoyed this video, if you're happy, if you want to just, just be positive with me, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and subscribe because there's definitely, definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.